Look smarter than you are with S-Base Calx Grips. This is Toby, and today we're going to look at isGen functions. The isGen function is used when you're determining if the member you're calculating is at a specific generation. Let's take a look at the isGen function syntax. isGen returns true if the member being calculated is at the generation listed. So in our syntax, we have isGen, open parentheses, dim name, comma, and either your gen number or gen name, followed by a closed parentheses. The dim name is the dimension we want to look in. The gen number is the generation. Now we have to remember that it needs to be a positive integer. Instead of using a gen number, you can use a gen name as long as the generation has been assigned a name in the S-Base outline. Now isGen is a Boolean function, so it returns one for true or zero for false. And like most Boolean functions, it's normally used in an if statement, but it doesn't have to be. Let's take a look at the isGen function when we use a generation number. In our example, we want to use generation 3. And if the member comes back as a generation 3, we want the sales to be 123. If not, then we want the sales to come back as 500 for every other generation in the market dimension. Let's take a look at isGen functions using generation name. In our outline, generation 2 is named as regions. Regions consist of east, west, south, or central. In this example, we will look in the market dimension and under regions. And if it's one of those four, the value for sales will be 500. If the member comes from a different generation, then the value for sales will be 123.